Hello again, it's Cons, and I'm doing a sort of addendum to the previous video where I talked about automatic investigation farming via macros. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you'll want to check that one out before this one. This is just uh, describing some settings that I forgot to mention in the previous video. I was so focused in the previous video by explaining how to get the macros to work that I forgot to actually like go into the, the settings that you need to set. So these are all of my settings. If anything's different, feel, feel free to mess around with it. However, I'll explain all the important ones in a second. So the essential settings are that you need to have auto save on. If you do not have it on, there will be an additional dialog box asking you to save between quests and the macro doesn't account for that, which is why it doesn't work. So make sure you have auto save on. Set your radial menu to option type two, which is the one where clicking the stick is what activates the item and make sure to have your radial menu set up properly as described in the previous video. Make sure you are offline. To become offline, you'll either need to put your PS4 into rest mode for a bit or just like disconnect your internet connection temporarily. If you're online, then there are some additional dialog boxes asking you how many players you want to have in your quest and things like that, which the macro doesn't account for. So make sure you are offline. It also, it sort of reduces the variance in load times and stuff like that. I think that covers everything, but just in case, I've got some footage playing now, which is just what my screen looks like as the macro is running. There are some other issues that can't really be accounted for. If you have like a really old machine, then sometimes it can miss. There are a few dropped inputs, and I'm sorry about those. But just generally speaking, if there are any additional dialogue boxes that you're seeing pop up that aren't popping up in my footage, that'll be a good indication of what's going wrong, and you can just like let me know which dialogue boxes it is, and maybe I'll, that'll jog my memory as to which options you need to set. But yeah, just compare your footage to mine and see if there are any differences in like what dialogue boxes and what options are repairing. Aside from that, it might just be irreconcilable sort of machine differences. Um, but yeah, hopefully that covers everything. If not, please do comment. I'll try my best to answer them all. I know I've been a bit bad about that lately. I've been taking a break from social media a little bit just because it's been kind of rough. But uh, yeah, I'll do my best to answer any questions and hopefully this clarifies any confusion. Take it easy. Bye bye.